What's up guys, Tavius here. Today we're going over a Warlock Strand build that's all about threat links, tangles, and just green stuff everywhere all the time. With the help of the exotic auto rifle Quicksilver Storm, since it finally got fixed and it's doing the damage it's supposed to be doing against red and yellow bars, being an exotic kinetic weapon. Quicksilver Storm got a catalyst with Lightfall's release that turned the kinetic weapon into Strand and also added the ability to create tangles with grenade kills with the grenade launcher mode of the weapon. But if I'm being honest with you, I find myself very rarely using the grenade launcher mode. There's just other better ways to create tangles than to take two full seconds to reload. But if you're running some low level activities, it's still fun to change to grenade launcher mode and create some tangles that way. Now, how are we going to maximize the amount of threadlings we create? Let's go over the subclass, aspects, and fragments. Starting with the healing rift, which is totally up to you and the level of difficulty of the activity you're doing. Now for a grenade, threadling grenade is the way to go. You might like grapple for the mobility or the shackle to suspend champions and tormentors, but reason we're going threadling is the mind spun invocation strand aspect. This aspect enhances our Threadling Grenade with the ability to consume our grenade and generate 5 Threadlings idle and ready to go. This way, every time your grenade is ready, you consume it to spawn your army around you and begin the cooldown for your grenade immediately. Now, Grapple also gets enhanced to spawn 3 Threadlings after you grapple melee someone. And Shackles allow you to suspend with weapon kills, but we will be suspend in a different way and we're maximizing on Threadlings here. Bear with me, we'll go over the fragments in a second. The second aspect, Weaver's Call, deploys any Threadlings you have perched when casting your Rift, plus giving you 3 more. So if you have a full 5, casting your Rift releases all 8 at the same time. Pretty cool stuff to see. Now onto the Fragments, and here's where it starts getting nutty. The Threat of Rebirth. Strand Weapon Kills have a chance to create a Threadling. With Quicksilver on, we'll create plenty, trust me. Next is the Threat of Warding. When we pick up a normal power, we get Woven Mail, which is a body shield. A shield that doesn't cover our head, so we're still vulnerable to headshots. This one reduces our resilience by 10. Threat of Warding and the next one, Threat of Transmutation, go hand in hand. When you have Woven Mail active, any weapon kill creates a Tangle. There's our Tangles, plus an increase to Strength by 10. And for our last fragment, we have the Threat of Evolution, which allows our Thread Leaks to travel farther and deal additional damage with also 10 of extra intellect. So that's the base of it, creating lots of threadlings and tangles with woven mail. Now moving on to the armor and mods to consider, let's talk about our new warlock exotic legs for Strand, the Swarmers. Destroying a tangle spawns a threadling, plus all of our threadlings unravel targets that they damage. Now what exactly is Unravel? Unravel is a debuff, in a way similar to the Siva Nanites from Outbreak Perfected. They chase targets, attach to them, and targets who are unraveled take more damage. Also, killing an unraveled target creates a tangle. Are you keeping up? All our threadlings unravel enemies. Killing unravel enemies creates tangles and unravel other nearby enemies. This is what I meant by green everything and everywhere, and we're not done yet. It's time for the mods. On my helmet, I have double harmonic siphon. Rapid Quicksilver Storm kills create orbs of power, easy orbs of power to proc woven mail, and, you know, tangles. Multiple copies increases the potency of the orb. Since our grenade spawns threadlings, and for the most part we will be eating our grenade, there's really no point on equipping ashes to assets here. Also have a heavy ammo finder. On my gauntlets I have Focus and Strike to get rift energy by dealing melee damage. No kill necessary, just damage. Then also have Heavy Handed in case I do get a kill with melee, I get a normal power. And last, the Grenade Kickstart, which uses an armor charge to gain additional grenade energy for each stack. So just using our grenade we immediately get a good chunk of grenade back, even more if we have an armor charge. Moving on to the chest piece, we have Charge Stop to increase the number of stacks of armor charge we can carry by one. Then use some Strand Resistance and Void Resistance, which you could swap for ammo reserves or special or your heavy weapon if you want. Now on our exotic legs we have Absolution to reduce all ability cooldowns by picking up orbs. Then better already to start regenerating health immediately after picking up an overpower. And also Recuperation to replenish a chunk of health when we pick up an overpower, so lots of healing with orbs. And last, moving on to the class item, we have Bomber to reduce our grenade cooldown when we place a Rift. We have Reaper, after placing a Rift, the next weapon kill spawns an orb power. 
And last, this is how we're going to get our stacks of armor charge. Utility Kickstart. Collecting an armor power causes you to gain one temporary armor charge. So once you have an armor charge, either throwing or eating your grenade uses the armor charge for grenade kickstart to get us more grenade energy, or if you cast your rift, it will use the charge for that instead with utility kickstart. And that is the mods, but for my stats, you can see that all I did was pretty much resilience at 100, then super at tier 8, and grenade at tier 6 to bring the grenade cooldown to 1 minute 48 if I do nothing. With this build, we'll be abusing the Threatlings and Tangles, taking advantage of our recently fixed Quicksilver Storm Exotic, and the new Swarmer's Exotic Boots for the Warlock. Our Mindspun Invocation aspect allows us to consume our Threatling Grenade to ready 5 Threatlings for our command, then casting a Rift spawns 3 more with Weaver's Call and launches all 8 of them at once, for a nice Threatling army. Our Threat of Evolution fragment allows our Threadlings to travel farther and deal additional damage, and our boots also buff the Threadlings and unravel enemies they damage. Unraveled enemies killed spawn Tangles, and shooting a Tangle with Quicksilver Storm spawns another Threadling plus suspends enemies in proximity. We will create lots of Orbs of Power with Rapid Quicksilver kills and with melee kills, and picking up Orb grants us Woven Mail, Reducibility Cooldowns, Health Regeneration, Health Replenish, and an Armor Charge to be used with either Granite Kickstart or Utility Kickstart. All this for a nasty loop of Tangles, Unravels, Orbs, Supers, and lots, lots of Threadlings. And there you have it guys, an extremely fun Warlock Strand build. Huge shout out to my buddy Batman for helping me test this one out and set it up. Also huge thank you to my Patreon supporters over in the Discord for making it all happen. And more importantly you, for your viewership. Discord, Patreon, YouTube membership, all that information will be in the description. My name is Savius, and if you want to watch other fun builds and informative Destiny lore videos, you can click here.